In this video, we're going to see how to set a limiting level using Blue Cat's Protector 2 and then boost the signal to increase overall output level. Typically, this would be used on the master bus to increase perceived loudness without exceeding a preset peak level. It can, of course, be used on any bus or track, though. As you can see, the interface is relatively straightforward. Meters on the left display incoming signal level and any pre-gain applied. Those on the right display outgoing signal. We want to ensure that this outgoing signal never clips while at the same time boosting the overall signal level. To make sure that happens, we set the maximum level allowed using the post gain control. By default, this is set at 0 dB. I'm going to drop that to minus 0.1 dB. This sets a hard limit to ensure that the signal peaks do not reach 0 dB at any time. To boost the signal, we need to increase the incoming signal using the input control. Start by dialing in some gain. You'll hear the level increase. I'm also going to increase the knee level so that any compression applied is gradually done over a level range rather than suddenly at the peak level. There's a blue arrow indicator to the right of the pre-gain level display that shows the point at which any compression will start to be applied. The peak signal attenuation is displayed above the pre-gain control and peak overall level increase is displayed beneath the post-gain control. Both of these can be reset by left-clicking on them. The original and process signal can be compared by using the protector's bypass switch. And that's how to set a limiting level using Blue Cat's Protector 2. Oh,